Okay, I've got these custom essential graphics that I bought and paid for for Premiere Pro. They are social media callouts like what you're seeing on the screen here where our names and Instagram profiles pop out. And I want to use these in a project in DaVinci Resolve. And as we all know, essential graphics won't work in DaVinci Resolve. So here's kind of a workaround that you can try for this. So I've already got my essential graphics created like I want them to. So I'm gonna set up a, blank, a new sequence. And in my case, I'm going to just copy and paste the ones I've already created over into my new sequence. So they're just on a black screen and they're popping out, but you can potentially, you know, create new ones if you wanted to and just put them into your sequence and then use them however. But in my case, I've already got the two set up I want, so there's no point in setting them up again. Now I'm gonna export this. Now within the export screen, we want to change our format to QuickTime and we want to change our preset to Apple ProRes 4.4 with Alpha. So not this one. And if you don't have it showing, which mine doesn't because I was using Adobe Media Encoder for this, but you can do it in Premiere Pro directly. Go to more presets and go to ProRes 444 with Alpha. Select that one, hit OK. Now we've got our export. Put it wherever you want to put it. Hit Export. So I've exported my file and it's just gonna play like a normal video file. Okay, so now I'm gonna drag and drop that into my project in DaVinci Resolve that I'm working with. And notice what happens when I add it to the timeline now. See, we just get those social media pop-outs. Now it's uneditable, of course, because it's a video. But the nice thing about this is if I were to export it as a different file type, then it would have a black backdrop behind it. So you wouldn't be able to put it above whatever videos you want to put it on. So it's a workaround that will allow you to do that. I should add, you can do this from After Effects as well. After Effects will also allow you to export in using that file type. So if you do create something in After Effects because you don't have Premiere Pro or just some other things that you want to use, use that file type and it'll allow you to throw it on over whatever video you want. And like I said, unfortunately, it is a video. It still means it's not going to be editable. So if you do want to make edits, you are going to need to switch back to whatever program it was that you made the edits in.